Cameroon has been ruled by one man, Paul Bia, for more than 40 years at the time of the making of this video. During this year's elections have been taking place in Cameroon, with citizens contesting on the opposing side with the intent to wrestle power from Paul Bia through the ballot. One personality that stood firm for several years to oppose Paul Bia was a man known as Ni John Frundi. In this edition of Back in History, we present to you the profile of Ni John Frundi, one of the most vocal opposition figures in the contemporary political history of Cameroon. Welcome to this edition of Back in History. John Frundi was born on 7th July 1941. He was born near Bermuda, in the northwest province of Cameroon. He attended school in Cameroon at the Beforche Basel Mission and the Santa Native Authority. He then moved to Lagos State, Nigeria, where he attended the Lagos City College. When done with school, Frundi returned to his home country of Cameroon and ventured into businesses. He opened a bookstore in Bamenda, where he sold books authored by local and foreign authors. The bookstore was known as the Ibibi Book Center. He also ventured into the sale of vegetables. Frundi was committed to these businesses and was very successful at them. Between 1979 to 1988, he headed a football club and also headed the Lions Club International. John Frundi then took interest in the politics of his country. In 1990, he formed a political party and named it Social Democratic Front, known for short as SDF. The SDF became the main opposition party in Cameroon from 1990 till his death. The formation of this party resonated with the yearnings of a good segment of the people of Cameroon. John was elected as the ADF's national chairman at its first ordinary national convention held in Bamenda in May 1992. From then on, John was popularly referred to as, quote, the chairman, a name that stuck with him for several years till his death. In the October 1992 presidential election, John made a strong showing against incumbent President Paul Beer. Paul Beer was announced as the winner of the election, but John had the best showing by an opposition candidate in the history of Cameroon. He lost with 36% of the vote against Bia's 40%, according to the official result. The result was rejected by John, his supporters, and several persons within and outside Cameroon. It was described as skewed to favor the sitting president. It was stated in many quarters that John Frundi had indeed won the election but was robbed of victory by the electoral body. In his stronghold, for instance, the Northwest Province, he officially won 86.3% of the votes cast at the election. John Frundi and third place opposition candidate Maigiri Bello Buba sought for the election to be annulled by the Supreme Court of Cameroon, but the petition was dismissed by the court. This did not change the perception of the people of Cameroon over the said election. Till this day, several persons in Cameroon still hold the view that John Frundi was robbed of victory in the said election. That he had indeed won the election and also had been declared as a winner and sworn in to replace Paul Beer. In the wake of the announcement of the election result, there was outbreak of violence, especially in the northwest province of the country. Following the outbreak of violence, Frundi was placed under house arrest by the government. He was placed under strict surveillance and his ardent supporters were closely monitored. John remained under house arrest for about a month before he was released. By this time, John Frundi had become a popular figure in the whole of Cameroon, Africa as a whole, and in the other continents of the world. John received an invitation from America to attend the inauguration of the United States President Bill Clinton in Washington. The invitation added that he was at liberty to attend the occasion with his wife. On 20th January 1993, Frundi, along with his wife Rose, attended the inauguration. 
John and Rose were photographed with Clinton and Clinton's wife Hillary in a widely circulating photograph. John's presence at the event had a symbolic impact in Cameroon, giving the impression of recognition and legitimacy in the light of Frundi's claim to have won the 1992 election. John Frundi was known as an advocate for the rights of the English-speaking minority in a predominantly French-speaking country, but above all, he wanted a federal unified country. Through his opposition movement, he became very popular in the politics of Cameroon. John Frundi was a die-in-the-wood opposition movement leader. He refused to back down when faced with serious opposition and even threats to his life. Playing opposition in Paul Bia's Cameroon was an exercise too dangerous for many, but for John Frundi, it was a worthy exercise and there was no going back. It was for him a worthy cause. In October 1997, there was another presidential election in Cameroon, but John Frundi and his party, the SDF, considered the atmosphere not conducive enough and the numbers not adding up and thus decided to boycott the election. Other opposition political parties also boycotted the election. John Frundi was at this time still a popular opposition figure in the country and still had the support of many. In April 1999, he was re-elected as the chairman of the SDF during the 5th National Convention of the party. He received 1,561 votes from the delegate to defeat his closest rival, Kretien Taben Singh, who scored only 40 votes. There was another presidential election in 2004, and John Frundi again stood as a candidate of the SDA for the presidential election. He had tremendous support in the electionary campaigns and at the election proper. John Frundi again lost the election to incumbent President Paul Bia. The outcome of the election was again criticized as having not been free and fair and as having not represented the wishes of the electorate. According to the official results released by the electoral body, John Frundi came second with 17.40% of votes against 70.92% for beer. He received his best results in the Northwest Province, where he had 68.16% of the votes cast, followed by the West Province, where he had 45.04% of votes, also followed by Littoral Province, where he had 32.71% of the votes cast. He also had a good showing at the Southwest Province, where he had 30.59% of the votes cast. With all these votes and good showing, it was widely believed by the electorate in Cameroon and observers that the election had been won by John Frundi. It was contended in several quarters that John had been robbed of victory by the electoral body working for the incumbent president and his men. The results remained as announced and President Paul Bia was again sworn in to continue in office as President of Cameroon. In July 2007, parliamentary elections were held in Cameroon. John Frundi's party, the SDF, won a number of seats and came second at the election, but the majority of seats were won by President Paul Bia's party. John Frundi again alleged massive rigging of the electoral process. He also alleged fraud. The election results remained as announced, notwithstanding the opposition to its credibility. After the said election, Frundi said that Bia should recognize him as the official leader of the opposition, since his party was a party with the second highest seat in the parliament. In November of the same year, 2007, John made it known that he was willing to meet with President Bia to discuss the future of Cameroon with him. In 2008, the Constitution of Cameroon was amended, which invariably gave the legal impetus for Paul Bia to have more opportunity to remain in power. This was done in anticipation of the 2011 presidential election, 
which was scheduled to hold in October of that year. John Frundi again threw his hat in the ring and stood election with Paul Beer for the office of president. When the result was announced, President Paul Beer still emerged the winner for the umpteenth time. Frundi came second. A few days after the election on 17th October 2011, Frundi, alongside other presidential candidates, called an emergency meeting to demand for immediate cancellation of the election, describing it as heavily flawed. In April 2013, Frundi changed course and sought to be elected into the Senate. He contested in the Northwest Province which had been his long-standing stronghold, but lost the election. He accused the leading party of bribing councillors to work against him. Frundi had done everything humanly possible to be elected into public office in Cameroon, and in particular into the office of president, to no avail. He had huge support from many Cameroonians, who perhaps needed a change in status quo, but it appears that at every turn, Frundi had centrifugal forces to battle with. He also suffered personal losses in the course of his aspiration to be elected into office. In October 2018, Ambazonian separatists burnt down his house in Bamenda. On 19th April 2019, his brother was kidnapped by gunmen who demanded huge payment as ransom. Eight days later, Frundi himself was also kidnapped while visiting Kumbo Northwest region to attend the funeral of Joseph Banadzem, the parliamentary group leader of the SDF. He was, however, later released. He received several death threats from known and unknown sources. In September 2019, John Frundi was abducted from his residence in Bamenda by separatist fighters who demanded his support for their cause. He was later released unharmed. To the surprise of many, Frundi made a point of always traveling without a security escort whenever he visited the Anglophone regions, stating that he was not afraid of his own people, including the separatists. By all these struggles, John Frundi gained tremendous respect from his people and from across several parts of Cameroon. He also gained international recognition. His singular courage to challenge the status quo in a country that has had one president for more than 40 years now was seen by many as legendary. Though he did not succeed in clinching the number one office in Cameroon, he nevertheless remains a hero in the hearts of many. On 12 June 2023, at the age of 81, John Frundi passed on to the great beyond. Reporting his death, the BBC described him as, quote, a brave champion of democracy, end of quote. John married his first wife, Susan, in 1973, and when Susan passed on, he married Rose. Together with his wife, John had several children. The memory of John Frundi shall remain in the hearts of many and in the history books of Cameroon, Africa and the world for many years to come. Thanks for watching this edition of Back in History and do remember to subscribe to the channel or follow the page for regular notification on every new video. I remain your friend and host, Ekemini Udim. <music>